Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Quirkcast. I'm community nerd and one of your hosts, Timber. Hi, Hi Timber. Hello. And I'm your video producer and your other co-host, Kelly. Hey, Kels. So today we have a very uh, unique episode. Mm -hmm. We are, have a single focus. Just one. We have mm -hmm. our Quirk's Next Top Gizmo Contest uh, finale. Mm -hmm. The dev you know. judging round. Yes, we made it. And for those of you who may not have been following this contest, we are holding a contest to find our next social media mascot, which is your gizmos. We have a ton of submissions that we got, and mm -hmm. they went through round one, which mm -hmm. was community voting. Yes. And so now those that made it to the dev round will now come to this final vote and mm -hmm. we are going to pick. We're going to judge. We have an all-star panel of three judges. Yes. And they're going to give a numbered score and then we're going to tabulate them all up and announce a winner. <gasps> Very exciting. So you'll get to meet our judges a little bit later on. And of course, after we have our Speedway Q&A. <gasps> with Kel, but this time she's going to be answering the questions, so stick around for mm -hmm. that. Kels, are you excited? I am excited because the winner of this contest is the gizmo that I will be going around the track with, Ooh. and I have no idea what that is. Yeah. So I have no idea about the questions or anything. Any so of that. I it's going to be exciting to be on this side. Yep, being a mm -hmm. functional gizmo wasn't even a requirement, nope. so <laughs> God help you. <laughs> this is going to be great. Uh, stick around yeah. and uh, let's just jump right let's in. Let's do it. Welcome, friends, to the main event of today's Quirkcast, the final voting round for the Gizmo Contest that we've been holding for the last couple weeks. And I'm going to throw it to Sam because you are, you kind of started this. Give us a very quick uh, a detail of what's, what's going on today. So we were looking for somebody to build us a Gizmo to be our social media mascot. Uh, we got a lot of submissions. You guys voted for round one. Um, and the winners of round one have now moved on to the dev round, which is where we are now. Excellent. So let's go ahead and meet our fantastic panel of the judgiest judges you'll ever meet. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dakota, and I'm the UX designer. I'm Jeannie. I'm the creative director. And I'm Jess. I'm the executive producer. Awesome. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Our first submission comes from 17 Lock 17. Pretty fantastic ramp-filled gizmo. I believe this one was the Saber. Oh, hit this! yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. 17 Lock did name all of his gizmo submissions. So enjoy the Saber, guys, and uh, nice. judge away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Looks like Jess is drawing. I don't, I don't <laughs> think any numbers are squiggles, but I'm excited to see this. You need to know my handwriting is terrible, so yeah. I'm trying my very best. Judges, let us know what she thought about the saber. See, see those scores. We got a 9.1, a 9.267, <laughs> and a 9.13. <laughs> All right, well done. 17 uh, lock starts with a very uh, strong lead. Uh, so I'm just going to ask one of our judges, uh, I want to start with Jeannie, since Jeannie has this really cool system <laughs> of judging. Jeannie, what went through your head when judging the Saber? So on this one for, uh, I really thought it did really well for creative use of gizmo parts, the, the kind of the meshing of the wings and the ramps and kind of how it became this integrated and intermeshed um, kind of block I really liked. Um, I also really like the the overall creativity of this one with just a really out of the box kind of shape. It wasn't very predictable, you know, as as others might be. So I thought this one was actually pretty creative. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. Our next gizmo is from Ace the Mage. All right, let's see what Ace the Mage gets. Mm -hmm. A lot of hums again. Mm -hmm. I will say from a non-judging point, uh, anything with a flag makes me happy. Right? It's right. It's yeah. just feel good. All right, judges, <laughs> are you ready? Reveal those scores. All right, so starting with Dakota, we have a 8.70. We have a 9.432. <laughs> we have an 8.11. So there you go. Um, so let's go ahead and go to uh, Jess. Um, 
Can you talk to me a little bit about why Ace the Mage got an 8.11? Well, I think it's a good gizmo. I mean, it looks like fun. It looks like it would fly really well. Um, and it's got four gun mounts. So in combat, this would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, it lost a few points uh, or lost a point from me simply because uh, it's a little more traditional built. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps that's unfair, but given the sort of what we've already seen, and we're short into this competition, but um, given what we've already seen is sort of creative use of blocks, this is a little more traditional. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we, it, we break this out in, in future contests into like traditional builds and non-traditional builds so that they've got different weight classes, kind of like <laughs> different race modes or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. I would buy it. I would fly it. I would fight it. Uh, I like it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Jess. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we have our gizmo from Casey Tron. All right, judges. A really nice job on those backgrounds. A really nice look at Sam. Nice, nice showcase for our, our players. The strategy is not working very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, judges. Have we come to, to your points? You ready? Yes. 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 All right. Flip them over. Let's do this. Just <laughs> <laughs> this is so yeah. good. We're really good at this, friends. All right, Dakota, we have an eight point five. Jeannie has an eight point a thousand five. <laughs> Jess has seven point eight nine. <laughs> All right, uh, Dakota, we haven't heard from you yet. Can you talk to me a little bit about Casey Tron's uh, gizmo? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> I really like that. There's two. Uh, buddy baskets. Yeah, I like that too. I, yeah. I think that's really awesome that I can not only drive my gizmo, but two of my friends can also enjoy the gizmo as well. Um, I'm not sure how well it would fly. Oh, it does look like there's propellers in the back, so it could be pretty stable. So I think it's a good solid gizmo. Mm -hmm. and like Jess said, I'd drive it, I'd buy it, I'd fight it. Oh, great. <laughs> awesome! Great job, Casey Tron! <laughs> All right, next up we have El Rage. Hopefully I said that right. Either way, let's go to the judges. All right. Mm. <laughs> 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 so hard. <laughs> Are you ready, judges? Yes. yes. Go. Ooh, high scores oh. all around. Oh. We have, Sam, can you read? I'm out of breath. Could you <laughs> do this for me? I can't read. <laughs> uh, we have a 9.51 from Dakota, a 9.911 from Jeannie, mm -hmm. and a 9.33 from Jess. All right. Um, so, Jess, talk to me a little bit about this gizmo. Well, I'm apparently the stingiest of the judges <laughs> here. Um, uh, what I like about this is the creative use of the, the pirate flag, right? I mean, clearly yeah. this is a, a bot of some kind, and you just want to roll into battle with that. And that's what, you know, my initial reaction was, oh, yeah. I never <laughs> even thought of that. I've built a lot of gizmos. And... Uh, you know, respect. <laughs> Res respect for our all rage. Thank you so much. All right, here we have Lil Cotton, one AJ's gizmo. Take it away. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite toy catch of all time. All right, judges, let us know what you think about Lil Cotton's little. <laughs> Little bug. <laughs> okay, so we got an 8.49, an 8.678, Jeannie, <laughs> and an 8.88. I'm sure there's more eights, but you didn't have enough paper. <laughs> uh, Jeannie, what do you think about Little Cotton? I actually thought this was really cute. It kind of reminded me of a tiny house <laughs> yeah. on wheels with weapons. <laughs> so I actually thought it was really cute. Um, I would love to see, you know, a bit more kind of creative shape to it. It's a little boxy, but I actually think it's super cute and adorable. Hey, okay. Awesome. Great job, Little Cotton. All right. We have Justine1337. Up next. Go ahead, judges. Great. That's a tough one. I can't wait to pick the music for this. <laughs> <laughs> it should be different every time. And just 
keep yes. the marker noises in, so you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, judges ready? Floating. All right, here we go, I gotta take a deep breath. 8.5, 9.123, and an 8.09. Not sure the, <laughs> the zero is necessary, but I like it. So why don't you explain to me about that? I would, I would buy it. I would fly it. I, would fly it. <laughs> uh, I think this is a very practical gizmo. I think this probably does really well in combat, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's well thought out. It's well designed from a playability standpoint. Um, the it would get more points if it had uh, a couple more creative uses of blocks. But other than that, I mean, I, I think in terms of like uh, in a contest. Taking this into PvP, this is probably a winner. Um, yeah, yeah, like it. Thank you, Justine, for your submission. All right, we have an old friend up, Variety Blitz. Take it away. Hello, mm -hmm. baby. Judges, let's see those scores. We have an 8.99, an 8.917, and an 8.1. We haven't heard from Dakota in a while. All right. I like this gizmo. I, I really like the light, the light gray blocks. I think, I don't know, it's just a nice color. Um, I'm not, I'd like to see a little bit more flying to it, if that makes sense. Maybe a couple propellers. So if, if it had, if it was able to fly, boom, instant nine. <laughs> you need to give him the you point one. That that <laughs> a little bit extra, but I think it's, I think it's very good. I think it would be very fun to drive. Awesome. Thank you, Variety Blitz. Okay. We are, we are nearing our final contestants. So up next we have Red Rose Hood. Go ahead. Take it away, judges. It's also really cute. It is. I didn't quite appreciate the shape of it until I saw it right now. Until you see it on the big screen. All right, let's see how Red Rose Hood did. Go ahead, judges. Wow, we, we, I mean, with the zeros. <laughs> we have a nine, we have a nine, okay? We have a nine point four five six and an eight point. We have an eight <laughs> also. Okay, uh, Jeannie, because I'm mad at the other two judges, why don't you talk to us? I actually really like this one. Um, the use of like the, the black and red checkers and the, the decals and the flags and then this, I really tried to imagine driving in this with the sticky blocks too and that could be really interesting because it's a little tank-like. Um, the fins are great. Like, I actually like, thought this one was pretty good use of uh, a variety of blocks. Um, and while it doesn't fly or anything <laughs> crazy, um, it just felt like, you know, a little intimidating coming at you with those skulls in the front. So yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay, awesome, great job, Red Rose Hood. All right, we have our second to last gizmo for judging. William Phoenix is up. Go ahead. Where? All right. This one's fun. You can banter. Oh yeah, we yeah. banter, banter. <laughs> Banter, banter. 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 Oh, witty banter. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> ah, thoughtful banter. All right, I believe we have some scores to go through. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. All right, we have a 9.48, a 9.234. <laughs> really sticking with this bit. A 8.11. Awesome. Uh, Jess, can you talk to me a little bit about William Phoenix's gizmo? Yeah, the uh, I agree with you that the balloons are really creative here. Uh, there, uh, and I love that the the buddy bucket, the, <laughs> the friend seat, is in the front, mm -hmm. so your buddy gets the view in the front. Um, though, mm -hmm. um, if you take this into combat, that buddy's gonna take one in the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, maybe your friends want to think twice before going to combat with you. But otherwise, really solid. Awesome, <laughs> great job, William Phoenix, and thank you for your submission. 
All right, friends, we have our final contestant up for judging now. <laughs> we have an old friend, Star Butter Toast. All right, judges. Mm. That's interesting. I think uh, this is a shape we have not seen yet in the competition. Yeah. So. Like Star Butter Toast also the hardest rotating. numbers. Yeah, I'm, yeah, this is our last one. I'm dreading. I'm dreading this. But here, here we go. The final round. I'm sure all these scores will be legitimate scores. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, well, after this, I quit, but here we go. We have a 9.25. We have Jeannie with a 9.888. And Jess with a solid 9. We did it. I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Excellent job. Uh, you know, since uh, I guess this is our final one, um, I just I want to hear from Jeannie. Oh, I win. <laughs> Um, I actually thought this was really creative too. The um, the interplay of the blocks, how they're kind of crossing each other, is really great. I, all of the sticky wheels, I'm like, this thing has got to be a force of nature as it's like going over everything. Um, and then the death kind of skull flags as the you're being jolted <laughs> at each other. Like if you happen to, you know, if you're, you're running through a crowd and people are getting smashed against each other, I thought it was super fun. And oh, it can fly too. Like it was just the combination of all kind of forces that um, made this a winner for me. So really good job. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Star Butter Toast, for your submission. And that wraps it up for the dev round. Thank you everyone who submitted a gizmo for this contest. We had so many submissions and this was so much fun. Can't wait for the next one. And without further ado, let's calculate our winner. We're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, Sam, I'm going to give you the honors. Before I open, I would like a drum roll, please. Hello. And the winner is... <laughs> Alarage, I hope we're saying your name right, and huge congratulations for winning our Quark's Next Top Gizmo Contest. Your gizmo is now going to be featured primarily in our social media as our gizmo mascot for our community. Congratulations and well done. And again, thank you everyone for submitting and thank you judges thank so you. much. You guys are the best. And of course, up next we have Speedway Q&A where I'm going to be asking the questions and Kelly's going to be answering them while riding around on El Rey's winning gizmo. So, stick around. Alright, welcome to Speedway Q&A. You may have noticed Kelly and I switched places because she is going to be going through the gauntlet of questions. Very and special episode of Speedway Q&A. The tables have turned. It has turned. Not only has it turned, uh, but Kels, you are going to be driving the winner right. of Quirk's Next Top Gizmo, which was... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna try it again. All rage. All rage. Yes, hopefully we have not butchered that all episode, but are you ready? I am ready. Okay. I'm going to deploy the gizmo here. There we go. We're the beautiful gonna... monster that this is. Let's take a look. It's beautiful. Okay. God, it's just so cool. I, I love is. this. It's just high and mighty. Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to see how it drives. Sam, are all you right. ready? I am ready. Okay. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it when three, two. One and go! What is the best type of cheese? Um, cheddar. What movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, this is a hard one. Yeah. Um, Jurassic Park. Oh, I love it. <laughs> if animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Like an antelope? With an antelope. Oh, that's, yeah, it does look rude. Yeah. <laughs> What's the better game, Breath of Wild or FTL? Breath of the Wild. You don't yeah. have to finish the sentence. <laughs> What inanimate Love FTL, though. It's my second favorite. <laughs> what inanimate object would you, if you could eliminate from existence, what would it be? Inanimate An object. Any uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, that's stop. a really hard one. Yeah. Um, inanimate. I'm almost done with this. Track, yeah, anything. Oh, no, I fell off. Uh, oh. um, I don't know. It's, that's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> why are French Bulldogs the fartiest dog? <laughs> Their diet. <laughs> and they're they're compact, you know. Everything just fits make in. a low pitch noise. Uh. <laughs> Would you rather be a hobbit or an elf for twenty four hours? Elf. 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 Oh, you were prepared. 
for those questions. Yeah. Well done. I've also done this track about 40 billion <laughs> times in the course of my thing. But those are some great questions. Good job. You made it in just over one minute. Congratulations. I think that, that might have been Corey's time. <laughs> yeah. That one time. Uh, did you have any other questions that you were dying to ask? Uh, so I, I, had a, I had a few. Let's see. Oh, this was one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. what was, uh, what's the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? Uh, my dog, the French bulldog. <laughs> and the follow-up was, what's the worst animal <laughs> to, to scale up to a Any horse? insect. <laughs> oh my gosh, Insects they're weird. Insects aren't an animal, but I will, I will give that what to you. What are you talking about? Yes, they are. Uh, I like answering your question. Oh, Sean had, uh, Sean really wanted to know how many <laughs> pandas are left in the world. What would your guess be? Um, my guess would be like 400. It's okay. probably generous, though. Super not generous. 18,000, oh, okay. or, or excuse me, uh, 1,864, a 17% 18 increase from the 80s. So they really? are on the upswing. So yay, pandas. That Them being the logo for the World Wildlife Fund really helped them out. Yeah, really, really did. Really did. And there you go. I'm not going to tell you anymore because I want to save them and see if yeah. there's any you like for the next Speedway Q&A. I did it. Well done, Kels. Thanks. Inanimate object. There's so many. There's so you could have picked anything. I would have picked the first thing I was looking at. A rock. No wait, we need rocks. We need rocks. Yeah, that's what I like about like what do you get rid of and then you're just stuck with it. Yeah. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Holy cow, kills! What a Speedway Q&A. It was really fun. You killed it. You Thank absolutely you. killed it. And we did not make it easy for you because we, we've had a whole season of pent up questions <laughs> for you. <laughs> so. I liked them. Yeah. Good job. I believe your uh, your time will be the time to beat this season. So it congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and also another congratulations to our winner of Quark's Next Top Gizmo Contest, mm -hmm. Outrage who you're going to be seeing a lot of their lot gizmo of. on our social media because they're now the official mascot. We're going to give it a name and some likes and dislikes and a personality. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. And thank you to everyone who submitted uh, for yes, our contest. Yeah, we had uh, 10 finalists for our dev round. That's how many submissions we had that after a week of community voting, we narrowed it down to a measly 10, yeah. <laughs> which is a whole lot. Uh, so you guys really killed it. Thank you again. And mm -hmm. thank you to our judges uh, for taking the time yeah. to, to have some fun with us. So that was, that was fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Join our Discord at discord.gg slash quirk. And we'll see you next time. Yep. See you next time. Come on. Bye.